Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. This week's PPF Pro Tip video, I'm gonna go over how to stretch paint protection film over body lines. This is a question I've seen show up in the comments section on some of our previous videos and I've never properly uh, addressed it. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some scrap pieces of film that I have lying around the shop and I'm gonna install them on the fender and across the front bumper. And I'm gonna show you guys how to properly install film on these complex panels. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this panel down with slip solution. You guys are probably noticing that this is a matte wrap on here and you would be correct. We wrap this thing in uh, our Defense Plus matte paint protection film a few months ago and I'm gonna be using a gloss paint protection film for the sake of this video. So, if you're a PPF install shop, I would highly suggest investing in a pressurized spray tank for your slip solution. I wish I would have done this four years ago when I started. So, a little plug. Okay. So right now, PPF is gliding nicely just with the slip solution. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna bring the film a little bit further forward. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna pull the back of the film back, tack it down. This is why you get a pressurized spray, spray tank, so you're not having to use uh, spray bottle. So that's just my tack solution. I will have to order a second tank for my tack, but for this video, this will be good. So for example, with this Tesla Model Y fender, I know that when you install it, the fender is good inch and a half, two inches short. It, that's how much the pre-cut pattern requires it to be stretched to get it to line up. So when you're stretching, there's a couple of things that come into play when you're stretching. Body placement, hand placement, and just where you want to stretch the film. So for example, like right now, let's say I want to stretch right across here. You know, stretching down over here isn't going to make any sense. But what I'm going to want to do is just take your hands. You want to have your hands towards the front and you want to stretch right along this body line. Just like that. There's a couple little fingers popping up here and over here. But as you see, when I stretch up across there as well, as I stretch, those fingers disappear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of tack solution over here under the film and on the headlight. And I'm just gonna stretch the film in place to the point where those fingers disappear. Hold that there, and I'm just gonna come along and squeeze you that down. Yes, I know I creased the film here, that's fine. I'm worrying more about this. So right now, this is what you want. It's evenly stretched right across this body line. You have no fingers or anything popping up here. I really wish for the sake of this video, I would have just gone and cut a fender, but I'm gonna do this with bulk. So. The second part I'm gonna go over is how do you properly squeegee with this? You know, you don't wanna take the squeegee and come and squeegee top down and go over this ridge. There's so much tension and pressure across this ridge, you don't wanna pull solution over this area. You're gonna get moisture trap or solution trap behind there. What I suggest doing, and this, is, this has worked really good for me, that's what happens when you squeegee air out, by the way. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna squeegee with the body line. So I'm gonna take my squeegee, I'm gonna throw a bit more, get a little bit more slip solution on top of the film. And just with two hands and even pressure, I'm just gonna come across, make sure that squeegee contours this body line and squeegee across just like that. Now I know there's no solution left behind. It's squeegeed out perfectly and that's also gonna help me separate the rest of the panel. So from here, I'm just gonna worry about the top here. I'm gonna squeegee that out. I'm 
And then I'm going to come across and do the same thing along the bottom. So that's how I would go about doing the fender, you know, stretching with the body line. That's the big thing. You want to stretch with it. You don't want to stretch against it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece of film. I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to get more slip solution behind it. And we're going to go do the front bumper. Okay, so now we're going to do the front bumper. Got my slip solution right here. Got that nice and soapy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the film and lay the film down right over here. So this is probably going to be a little bit easier for me to explain what I was trying to explain on the fender. You can see we got these two massive fingers right over here. So what I recommend is, let's say for example, when you're installing this bumper, you would already have your anchor points tacked down right here and right by the, around the tow hook cover and then down over here by the, below the fog light. But for the sake of this video, and you can use this on any panel, any vehicle where it's really sharp like this. I'm just gonna tack this down. Okay, now that I got a bunch of slip solution behind here and I got this anchored down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my hand and I'm gonna stretch with this body line right here. As I stretch, watch what happens to these fingers on the bottom and on the top. Just a light stretch and those fingers all disappear. This would make wrapping the film into the front really easy and it would also make getting this middle area down really easy as well too. Actually, now that I let go with my hand, it basically wants to stay in place. So I'm gonna come right across that body line, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take and squeegee everything down. And then I gotta angle my squeegee upwards. And there you go. That's how you would take PPF and you would work across these body lines. Now, this isn't just Tesla specific. You can use this same method on any vehicle, any type of body line, wherever you are. Just make sure you have a way to <clears throat> make sure you have a way to stretch with the body line and you're going to get the PPF to lay down perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below with what your thoughts are on the video and whether you have some constructive criticism or any other suggestions what you would like to see in future videos. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more PPF content. Now before you go, I just wanna let you guys know, uh, us at Drive Protected, we just launched our own car care line. So if you head over to driveprotected.shop, I'll have the link in the description of this video. You can uh, check out our new Amped All-Purpose Cleaner, Megawatt Foam Soap, and our Recharge Ceramic Detailing Spray. Make sure you use code PROTECTED and you will save 20% on your order. Thanks again.